I want you to notice that when you sacrifice you will bring salvation when you live selfishly you will bring damnation to other people for example let's look at Adam Adam is in the garden reaching his hand to a tree selfishly Adam is in the garden eating the fruit of the tree selfishly and guess what happens because of that every bad event on this earth today that happens happens because of this selfish act of Adam every death every murder every suicide every sickness and every pain is connected to a man's selfish act in the garden then there comes another the last Adam his name is Jesus he is also in the garden except he's making a different decision instead of reaching his hand to a tree he stretches his hand on the tree and lets people nail him on it sacrificially he gives his life away and because of that sacrifice every good thing every healing including John's healing last Sunday including my salvation including your salvation all of that is connected not to Adam but to a man on the tree your life has a domino effect people who think that if I sacrifice for God nobody's life will be affected that is not true people who think if I live selfishly my life is not going to make a difference that is not true because I know personally people and you do who made a decision to get drunk and get behind the wheel and your friend died who was innocent it shows to us living a sacrificial life has a domino effect on people you don't know and people that you love there are people who will be in the kingdom of God when you make a decision to say what Jesus said not my will be done but die Lord and there will be people who will go to hell if we will make a decision it's all about me and it's all about my me myself and I people will suffer because of that my friends we only have one life to live it will soon be passed only what's done for Christ will last everything else will be wasted trying to keep your life make it successful is such a dangerous journey because you got millions of demons waiting for you to fall you got devil who has nothing else to do but to destroy you and you got you who have only 20 years of experience a lot of foolishness and flesh inside of you who screams to do stupid all the time and here you are holding on to your little poor little dream i want to make your life possible flesh is against you world is against you millions of demons are crawling to way to chew you into pieces give this life away so when satan comes to take it he has nothing to take it's already in the hands of god I think it was this man who was uh, Jim Elliott who was a missionary and he went to Ecuador as a missionary to reach out to a tribe who has never heard about Jesus and he eventually got through to this tribe they had a little helicopter and they brought food there and the tribe people picked up the food and they decided that you know they are opening to us they're picking up our food so they decided to already approach them and start the conversation and you can see the movie it's called End Spear it's based on a true story and they landed on this beach bringing more food supplies learning their language and trying to communicate with this tribe men as they started to approach them the people from the tribe ran at them and speared all of those missionaries to death and before that when they asked him why did he move his family to that place in Ecuador he said the following man is not a fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot lose the wives of these men instead of going back to the United States even though the president ordered them to come back because the whole country knew about this incident because American people were lost in the jungles of Ecuador they said we're not going back and they went back to the same tribe people who murdered their husbands and slowly but surely they won their trust and the most amazing moment was when the son of Jim Elliot met the man who speared his dad and that man gave his life to Jesus and today that man is his father today Jim Elliott's son calls the man who speared his father his dad he comes to United States now he goes there and that whole tribe will go to heaven 
because a man decided to follow the man Jesus and lay down his life man is not a fool who gives what he cannot keep so he can gain what he cannot lose only two percent of people in the United States who are Christians share their faith regularly 80 percent statistics says have never once in their life 80 percent have never once in their life shared their faith with someone in this country 170,000 people every year get martyred for sharing their faith in the world and here we have 300 million people in our nation and many of us 80 percent of people that are Christians today will never even dare to invite their neighbor to a church I want to tell you something let's step it up we're not talking about dying on the cross we're not talking about being skinned speared or being stoned or beheaded we're talking about that some people actually will get saved and healed and they become your best friends we're talking about your life getting purpose and meaning we're talking about your life seeing richness and miracles we're talking about people's lives being changed but if it comes to the fact that we will have to sit in jail our Lord Jesus Christ did so much more for our salvation I'm sure we can handle a little bit more pain and rejection for the salvations of other people can somebody say amen